hello and welcome everyone in this video i'm going to explain about all the options that we get under the file menu in ms word as you can see after opening ms word on the top we can see the different menu options and when we click on the file menu we get a different options that can be done to the current file that is open or on which we are going to work so in this video i will make you clear about all these options so let me show you from beginning first of all we need to know how we can open ms word i hope you know that ms word is a word processing software that is used to create a document so to open ms word we just uh, go to the search bar and type word word and you can see the application has appeared and just click on the icon and the uh, ms word application will be opened and after opening just choose the blank document now this is the interface where you can create your document you can type or you can insert uh, any other pictures and whatever you like you can create the document according to your requirement but the main thing in this video is the functions of these uh, menus or these options that is under the file menu so let me start with the home options when we click on the home option you can see uh, the interface that is appearing is that from the home option we can choose the blank document or any other templates as well or we can open the documents on which we have worked recently so these are the documents uh, on which we have worked uh, previously so we can choose these documents to open uh, from the home options now the next one is the new options so when we click on the new it will allow us to choose a new blank document or we can choose different templates so new option is used to create a new document we can create a new document with the help of these options so for creating a new document we can choose either the blank document or we can choose different templates that is available for example when i click on the blank document i will get the blank document open now if i want to choose uh, some other template also you can choose from the new for example if you want to choose uh, this um, resume template you, you just choose click on this template and you can just create the template is online so you have to first of all download so according to your need you can create a new file with the template you can see here it took a little bit time to download the template now you can edit your uh, document according to your requirement so the new options the new option is allows us to create a new document either we can create the blank document or you can choose any of the template according to your requirement now the next one is the open option so when we click on the open option it allows us to open the already existing document file in our computer so you can see here it is showing all the documents uh, that have been uh, created last week and this week also so you can open the already existing document with the help of these open options for example when i click on this uh, document it will be open easily so i just opened class 5 computer now this is the document that i have open with the help of these open options so open options allows us to open already existing document if our file is not listed here which we want to open we just go to the browse option and you can browse that particular file so you just browse the file where wherever the file you have kept you can open from these options for example if the file is in the download section like this uh, class 8 Just choose the file and click on open you can see it has opened another file that is already existing in our computer so open option is used to open the already existing file in our computer system now the next one is uh, get add-ins get add-ins options allows us to download some extra applications or the plugins uh, that may be helpful while creating the document you can see different applications appeared here 
you can add these plugins or add-ins to your word applications by downloading these uh, particular applications if you need some extra uh, features you can add these applications to your ms office applications for that purpose we can choose the add-ins options let's see the next one this one is the info option so info option provides the complete information about the file on which we are working or which it is open for example right now class 8 pressure this is the file name that is open right now in my computer there are some other options other informations regarding these files that is uh, properties you can see the properties the size of the file how many pages are here words and some other details are given about this file so it info options provides the complete or detailed information about the current file that has already opened now you can do some other uh, changes to the file you can protect your document or you can choose what type of changes can be done by other people or you can check for different issues like uh, you can inspect your document for additional properties you can check accessibility and compatibility whether it is supported by other versions of ms office or not so all these things can be done next is the manage document you can read from this option you can recover the unsaved document so info options not only provides the complete information about the current file but it allows us to do some necessary changes to our file the next one is the save option option is used to save the file you know after completing your document you need to save that so for example you have edited all your document and it is ready now you want to save this file so for that you just need to go to the file options and click on save options allows us to save file to any particular location now you can browse the location where you want to save so click on browse and choose the location for example if you want to save on the desktop choose the desktop and give the file name click on the save option so when you click the file will be saved. next one is the save as option it is clear to save initially we can choose either save or save as while saving our document there is little bit difference between save and save as to know that difference you have to watch another video that i have already created i will provide you the link at the end of this video don't worry now let's move to another option that is the print one so by the name you might get idea that this options allows us to print the document for example uh, we have created our word file or the document like this after editing all the things or whatever you want after creating the document if you want to print this document you just need to click on the print option and just you can choose or you can customize your printing options like this uh, you can choose the printer and number of copies you want from here you can choose the number of copies and after there is settings you can done if you have multiple pages you can write the pages number mention the pages numbers and other settings can be done the print orientation it can you can print either in the portrait vertical format or the horizontal format what so all these but there are a lot of options that you can choose while printing your document the main thing you must know is that this print option allows us to print the current document next one is the share option share option allows us to share this file on which we are working we can share the current document with uh, other peoples either by email or directly to the web or we can just post to the blog if you are writing the document for your blog post you can directly post to your blog from these options or you can save to the cloud you can save to your uh, OneDrive or Google Cloud wherever you want with this option you can save to the cloud and from there you can share to other people or you can directly share from uh, email or you can directly post to your blog from these share options 
so basically you need to understand that share option allows us to share the current document to other people the next one is the export option this allows us to export the file in different format we have opened we are working in ms word and it creates the document file now if you want to convert to the pdf or some other file formats you can choose this option now you can change the file type or you can send your documents to kindle or you can directly create the pdf format with these options just you need to click and your file will be saved in the pdf format you can see save as type it is selected already the pdf now when we click on the publish the file will be saved in the pdf format so export options allows us to save the file in different file formats according to your requirement you can either save as the document format or you can save to the pdf format or you can uh, choose any other file formats of your document now the next one is close by the name you can understand that this option allows us to close the file and before closing it is saying that whether you want to save your document or not so if you want to save just click on save if not you can choose the don't save right now i don't want to do any options i don't want to choose any option so i can cancel now let's move to again the file menu at last there is the more options so in the more options you can see there is two other options like account and options so when we click on the account it is all about our Microsoft account you can choose you can add you can switch to another account you can sign in or sign out and you can add your product key or change your product key and you can update and there is a lot of thing that you can do with your account options now we have uh, another option that is option itself and when we click on the options you can get a lot of uh, settings inside uh, the word options like general settings now we can do some display settings now proofing and there is other customizations that can be done with these options so this is not uh, so much important for now if you want to know these options in detail then let me know in your with the help of your comment i'll make a detailed video on this again so this much for now i hope you have understood all these all the functions of these options that is under the file menu so see you in the next video